I'm going to show you how to program your car garage door opener to your car garage door. Now this does work with Subaru, Toyota, Ford products, GM, you, you name it. This includes resetting all buttons or resetting just one button. I will also tell you a must know safety tip and what else you can program with the other button. Let's get started. Now, you want to make sure that you turn your vehicle facing the garage door. I'm going to go ahead and turn mine right now. Okay, so we're going to start by resetting the unit. This is very important because if you're selling your car or if you're renting a vehicle and you put your code in there, you need to be able to wipe that clean. Now when you get your car garage door to open, go ahead and hit that thumbs up as a way to celebrate your victory. To reset the buttons, you want to push the first and third button and hold them at the same time. Now you can start this when I show you the counter. Let's do it together. If your buttons are located on the visor or you have the LED home link light as shown in the bottom, it's only going to take you 10 seconds. Remember the key here is when it starts blinking. If your mirror looks like the one above where you have the solid red light or you just have a solid little blue light, it's going to take you 20 seconds. So keep holding it and once the timer runs out, it will start blinking. And that's the key, having the light blink. Now the buttons are clear. Now we're ready to program your code to the buttons. Keep in mind that after we program the button, some of you will be able to open your garage door. And the reason is because you don't have a revolving code. For those that have revolving code units, I will show you how to pair your unit after we're done programming the button. Now remember, as soon as you can open your garage door, please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up so others can find it. So thank you for that thumbs up. I will show you how to reprogram just one button by itself when you only want to change that code. Let's program the button. For the visor unit and the unit with the green light, you want to push and hold both the unit button you want to program and the car garage door opener at the same time. If you have the unit with the round LED, you need to do the same. For the LED house, you only have to push the button once, but if it doesn't blink or you don't get the blinking yellow light, you will have to hold it down. Let's begin. On the left side, push the garage door button and your program button at the same time. And there you go, you have the code when it blinks rapidly. Hit the like button if it works. On the right side, you're going to have to hold that garage door opener for quite a while, almost 20 seconds for most when of the When it blinks units. rapidly, you're done. You can just let it turn off or you can just push the button to have it turn off. Now you're ready to open the garage door, but if you have a unit with a revolving code, you will have one more step. Push your button and you see how it blinks quickly. That means that you have a code in there. And that should open your garage door. If you have the LED unit, when you push the button, if you get the blinking triangles on the side, just push it one more time and hold it, and it will close your garage door. If you door. have two-way communication on your garage motor, you will see the downward indicator of the door and then a green sign once it's completed. If your garage door does not open, that means that you need to pair it with the receiver. If you have a code in any of the buttons and you want to reset that button, well, let's go ahead and do that now, and then we can pair it to the garage door opener. In here, we have a button that has a signal you can see because it blinks quickly if it uh, if you have the light in the mirror when you push it it turns green now when you have a button that is ready to pair it blinks slowly so this one's empty so now let's reset this so what you need to do is you need to push and hold now it's solid you keep holding it's going to start blinking slowly. Once it starts blinking slowly, you need to use your garage door opener button and hold it. Now it's ready to program, but you cannot let go of it. Push your button. Now it's got the code. If you're a lucky person and you have one of the older garage uh, door openers, you're done. But now if you have a revolving code, uh, you need to pair your unit with the garage door opener. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and go to the learn set setting on your garage door opener and it's usually located in the back or on the side and it's going to be a round or square button. Okay in this particular case now you push that button and you're going to have 30 seconds when you have 30 seconds, you go to your car, you get in, and you're going to push your button. You want to look at the light. See how that blinked? You push it one more time, and it's got the code. With some garage door openers, you may have to push it twice, but you can see it's, it's very easy to do. Uh, if you can have somebody else help you with it, if your garage door, if your garage motor is fairly high you're gonna need a ladder so somebody could help you but it's something that you can do 
You can also program a community gate if you have a community gate uh, in your subdivision. You can program your lights if you have a home security system that uses a remote. You can program your, that to one of your buttons for the lights to turn on. Thanks a lot guys. I create videos that uh, focus on strategy and performance and also how to's. I appreciate a like and I'll see you in the next video.